In a dramatic turn of events, the Bengal government has defied a Calcutta High Court order to hand over custody of Sheikh Shah Jahan, the former Trinamool strongman facing charges of extortion, land grab and sexual assault in Sandesh Khali. On Tuesday, the court directed the police's Criminal Investigation Department or CID to transfer custody to case materials to the Central Bureau of Investigation or CBI by 4.30 p.m. However, at 7.30 p.m., a CBI team left the Kolkata police headquarters empty-handed. The reason for this refusal lies in the state's move to approach the Supreme Court, challenging the High Court's decision. The Bengal government had sought an immediate hearing, but its request was turned down. The Supreme Court directed the state's representative, senior advocate Avishek Singhvi, to present the plea before the Registrar-General as per the established rule. Earlier, the High Court criticised the state police, deeming them totally biased and called for a fair, honest and complete investigation into the allegations against Shah Jahan. The High Court, led by Chief Justice T.S. Sivagnanam, set aside a previous order for a special investigative team, transferring the case to the CBI. Both the Enforcement Directorate or ED and the state filed separate challenges to this decision. The ED advocated for exclusive CBI involvement while the state insisted on the police handling the probe. The saga began on January 5th when Sheikh Shah Jahan, on the run since then, was finally arrested by a special police team. This followed an attack by a mob of his supporters on an enforcement directed team en route to conduct raids. The ED, in a recent update, has provisionally attached assets worth 12.78 crore rupees in connection with the Sheikh Shah Jahan case. This financial action adds another layer to the complex legal and political landscape surrounding the case. The entire controversy has become a focal point in the ongoing political battle between the Trinamool and the BJP. TMC MP Abhishek Banerjee, reacting to the High Court's decision, asserted that it was the judiciary, not his party, guarding Sheikh Shah Jahan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had also weighed in on the issue during his recent visit to Bengal, accusing the Srinomul of shielding its former member and criticising Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee for prioritising certain individuals over the suffering of women.